Hey, all you serene and simple life peeps, thanks for being here. That's Happy Haven. And behind Happy Haven is Stepping Stone Retreat. I am just about moved out. Oh my gosh, I can hardly believe it. Moved out of one home and into the other. So today I would like to share with you, oh, row by row, corner by corner, how I get everything off my porch and back into Happy Haven in a nice, neat and organized way. I have a center loft with the two seats out and then I have my garage in the back with tons of space. I have no idea how long I'm gonna be on the road, so I imagine we're gonna be pretty well packed. Plus I'm taking some food along that I wouldn't normally take. Nobody really wanted it and I didn't wanna pitch it. So with no further ado, let me take you through how I load up my Toyota Highlander SUV to live in full time on the road in a go see do mode. Go visit some friends. It's time to pack her up. One of the last things I need to do before I'm out of here. Hope you'll join me. All you serene and simple life peeps, thanks for being here to see me load up Happy Haven. Happy Haven and Linda and Andy are headed on down the road in just about another day or so. I can hardly believe I'm saying that. <laughs> it's my home here. Another home on wheels. It's going to be my only home for a while. Give me a thumbs up on this one and subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss updates on this journey. Empty and not for long though. A couple last minutes there. Here we are guys. I've shown you this a couple times. I am going to put it all together in sections and I will show you snippets as I go. Kind of like how I set up things in the back by rows so you can see exactly how it all fits as we move along here. Alrighty, let's get started. Come on over for some fun. I just finished setting up the nook, the hangout space. I've done some new fun things here. Check it out, guys. A pillow to sit on, carpet, the six drawer unit that I've had for a long, long time now. I got that at Ikea. No, I got that at the container store. It has uh, dresses, tops, shorts, and uh, yeah, pants. It's all organized. There's my little cooking area. Just showing you the outskirts right now. This is my coffee bar and miscellaneous. My shaker, awesome. Product to fill orders on the road. Those are the mini cards. I've got the four by six cards in this container. I love these collapsibles. I hope you watched the classes and that whole series where I showed you everything. And here is a basket that has uh, plates, bowls, and a pot and a pan. And then this is the two drawer unit for food that I've had for a long, long time. These also came from the container store. Gotta love it. Got a lot of miscellaneous down here that I didn't have when I was on the road full time because I'm coming out of a house now and you can't put food in storage. And I just didn't want to toss it, and I wasn't sure that anyone really would want it. And then my camp chair will go under here. That's the bag. And then this is where the metal table goes. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything more perfect. Look at that. So this will be the sitting. And then 
yeah, nighttime squishies. I'll do a new video on how I sleep later. And now we're going to fill the garage. I'll show you what I've got left here in the garage. See, we're getting there. Not too bad. Winter clothes, table, shower tent, clam in the corner, reflectix. I'll show you as I put this in row by row. Oh, it's another last. Another last for Stepping Stone Retreat. I'm doing my last load of laundry, which is the bathroom rugs, some rags, I don't know, some miscellaneous clothes. <laughs> and here's all my bathroom stuff that I will pack in the morning after I get my last shower here. Oh my gosh. It's time for lunch out back. Now in the next show, I will show you closing down the storage and that's when you can, uh, yeah, in the previous show, I asked you if it was all gonna fit in the comments. So I hope you watch that. Let's go enjoy this beautiful day for a few minutes and get back to work. Let's be honest, I'm gonna miss this. Are you gonna miss this? Look at that, wow. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. And here is a crab cake, some canned mixed vegetables, some mayo, Arizona green tea, a five minute lunch, maybe 10. And we'll be back at it. Just soaking up all these last minutes. Back at it. About an hour later, I made all those phone calls, the electric, the internet, Oh my gosh, taxes, this, that. This fits like a glove. I had set this up before, so I'm not having to figure it out now. Lengthwise, from here to the end, it has to be right here. It can't be back further because of these wheel wells, right? So we've got the 50 watt solar panel. I showed you in the class series. The folding table I love to have to set up an office. The shower tent, which covers the um, solar panel. I like that for privacy, so people don't walk in and see what you have. And then this is the keepsake wood boxes for the Say It Display It line. To fill orders on the road. And that sits nicely sideways. Cool. And I will show you what goes in the front here now. We're getting her lined up. Adjustment, that fits better on the right side. I had forgotten because of the wheels right there. This is a, a bag that has is on wheels, love it. Tetris time. This is all my winter clothes, all of them. And back here are the shade covers for the clam, the, the coverings that go on three sides. And these fit nicely. This just drop. Look at that. Just drops right in there. And I love how everything becomes almost one size or, you know, straight across, except for I could put one more little thing right here. Cool. It's working out. The other corner. This fits perfectly. This has the extra stove in it. This is a collapsible bucket. Some books. I've got the lantern. We've got the connection for the dust buster. We've got the, this is a bug light or bug candle lantern, propane, four bottles on the bottom. My uh, lights that I put around the vehicle. This little mallet, everything perfect. Gas can here. Patriot Supply was gifted to me last year. I don't wanna leave it in storage because of rodents. This is a bag of stuff in case I do some kind of, I don't know, meetup workshop. It's just totally random. Probably won't. And now let's see what's gonna go in this space and on top of this. I love this box because I was able to just push it back. You know how I hate to lift things, like have things topped on top of each other. Okay, we're starting to do fill-ins now. This is a rope bag. 
to hold down the clam. My Road Pro sitting nicely there for the time being. This is shoes, not too many, like four pair. We'll probably do a clothing video another day. And this is my beach bag, which I probably won't use, but it has a towel and my bathing suit in there, so it's pretty random. Still got this space. Fit any better if we tried. Plastic container full of file folders of papers to go through while I'm on the road at picnic tables. It'll be a picnic table day. Probably a rest area or a park. Miscellaneous in here. I'm taking this steamer now that I have a 500 Jackery. <laughs> Maybe I won't have to be so wrinkly looking. Hot water bottle, extra paper towels, an extra fan, this little heater that I've never used, and some other random, some cleaner for inside, and detergent. So totally random, totally junky. You know, this time around I am carrying extra, extra of everything because I don't know how long I'm going to be on the road. Stay tuned. It's a good reason to subscribe if you're not already. The journey could be a few months or it could be double that. I really don't know. Did a little shifting around here. I think I like the two grays together. This is, you know, basically camping and I don't know, just too much miscellaneous. <laughs> This is my workstation right here. This is binders and books that I want to read, things to go through. So it'll be real easy access there. It's really heavy. And then just push the swim bag back here and shove another bag back in here um, of winter. I've got one more winter to sit right here, my sweatshirts. And this is the shoes. This bag kind of drives me crazy because it really doesn't shut. That'll do her. It's an organized mess, right? But, you know, if I wasn't carrying all my winter right here, that would be eliminated if I had gone through all my papers. But I like to take projects with me on the road. And this is all camping essentials. So if I set up camp, I got to pull these things from the front out, get my clam that's back in there, Get the shower tent maybe this is an easy pull up and the table is right there so that's an easy pull out this way uh, probably won't have to remove anything this is just a couple mailer boxes for quick orders and there you have it guys pretty neat huh pretty neat see here we go the birds are going crazy are they fighting I added a few more things here. The jean jacket, the dustbuster, very handy now. And games on the road with my Grand Sweet Peas. I did a video on that, FaceTime and playing games, how they sent me a kit. You might wanna go back and watch that. Well, those birds are crazy. I put my hiking boots in here, little crochet stuff here if I decide, depending upon how long I'm on the road. So just a couple more tuck-ins. I put this standing upright rather than flat. That's good. Don't forget the handy dandy markers. I love markers. They're all in a plastic bag here. Sit at the picnic table, do some doodle art. Yeah. Life is simple. Nazi hung up the paper towels with a necklace. Wondrous. Upside down, wondrous. A wholesale show I did in New York City. Oh my gosh, years ago, years. <laughs> the curtains are up. We're getting we're getting to the finish line here. Not too bad. Coffee bar, everything very handy here. You know, product takes up some space. Got food. I'll probably put this mirror down with some kind of sticky adhesive. Um, I don't know where I will put that. I got a going away present, some peppermint tea. Someone here that works for Tetley Tea or Southern Tea. And going to put, hopefully my table will fit underneath these weights and my tennis shoes. 
they're still in the back. I'm going to sit out back now and call a friend. And I've got my books here, things that I want in my face so that every day I will be going through some of this and, I don't know, maybe making some new um, motivational picnic table talks. I'm not sure. And the lovely Serene and Simple Life bag. I'll have it handy here to fill up to take my things to the picnic table. The bags to put the chair and the table in. And everything is nice and neat. Ta-da! We're done for today. We come around here. We're done for today. Woo! -hoo! Well, that's not good. I will take this down when I'm cooking, just in case you wondered. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I left space for my big jackery cooler. Got a handy water right here. And snack box will go here on the seat. And Andy. And let's see how the porch looks. Are we really done? Look how sweet. My grandkids made that for me years ago. I love it. Got to find somewhere to really hang it so it doesn't fall down. And dum -da -da, seeing is believing. There you have it, guys. I'm going to roll these suckers up and take them to the storage. <laughs> the porch is empty. Have you all ever seen the empty porch? I'm thinking not. I'm going to throw those in the front tomorrow. I am going to hide this rock. I'm going to fix up the word serenity a little bit. But I'm going to hide this rock for the new owner. How fun. Got a broom to sweep up last minutes. Right here is the cooler to fill in the morning. The snack box, the jackery. Oh, my laptop is over there. And yeah, a present that I'm taking along for a birthday that's coming up. And there you have it. Been working all day. Just when I thought I was done and was going to have a day of rest, that was not possible. <laughs> Blessings in your day. Enjoy in all your travels, in all your packing when you go away. And of course, joy in the journey. <laughs>